Hey everybody, Sharon from Vivid Days. Now this is, ooh, uh, 24 hours since I last finished doing my two lives. The two lives showed you the colours and what I did to then drape this process. And I, different to where I would normally do, I've left these because it was quite late at night, it was 10 o'clock. So the third stage would have meant me getting up in four hours into my sleep and coming out and sculpting them. But I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to show you. So these are more or less fully cured. The dilemma is, will this one fit inside this one? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is show you, if you've waited it, um, waited too long and you can't, it's not soft enough to sculpt in like what I would normally do, you still have options, but you might not get the perfect rolls in that what you want so i'm going to show you what's and all uh just one thing to show you where i burnt off my um hair that was in there so i put a lot of heat in there and then when i laid it down there was quite a runoff so i've got a very old wrinkly skinned area here where it was a little bit too hot but i'm not going to worry about it now because what i am going to do is see when i put this one inside this one can i cover it up and if it's still a nicer going to fix it with some uv resin and some crystals around there to hide our sins now these beautiful colors and this sculpture is going to be for one of my guest bathrooms and i really love it it's a happy piece so you're going to see me remove this so you're going to see me remove this you're going to see me remove this and then you're going to see me uh, try and fit this in that, heat it up, make it fit, and then maybe come through with some UV resin and do some final embellishments. And we'll show you the piece. So if you've not seen video one and two and you want to know what I did before this, go on to my lives and watch them. Other than that, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. As always, pop over to my Etsy store. There might be some treasures there that you wish to purchase. And last but not least, showcase your art on my um art group page art group page the link is below uh, for all of those for ease of comfort but enjoy i hope where you are you are safe and come back and visit me again soon all right i'm gonna put some music on and you're gonna enjoy watching well that sounded like a, you will enjoy i hope you enjoy watching this final process bye bye
Hello, Sharon from Vivid Days and we are in for review time. So I'll turn it around as we go. I'll try and get some light on for it so you can see it. And then I want to add some fairy lights so you can see what this can be. But let's go in and have a little look. So this is the final stage of the third part of sculpting. And the first two parts, which was mixing your colours, laying it down flat, was on video one. If you've not seen that, go and check out that live. And then I did a, uh, a second live where we start to sculpt it and hang it over the bowl. Now, this video was not a stage I would normally do because all within the bending motion of the sculpture before it's fully cured, I put my inner and outer, and it is a middle, in at the same time because it gives you more ability to sculpt it. Whereas I had to leave it overnight, so when I came back, it was fully cured. And there was a few obstacles with that. However, hopefully this video showed you how you can work through some of those if you are time poor. So let's go in and dissect it, not dissect it, dissect it. This is just my beautiful presentation little um, thing that my Neil got me for Christmas. And I've only put it on here just because it rotates round. Normally, I'd like you to see it against the pure white background but this is what's going to happen anyway let's see if i can get my light and see if we can get inside so you saw where i had to come and add the resin separately to get the top part and the bottom part to stick together and then i added my crystals in there okay to turn around a little bit more and then i had a couple of problem areas so the problem areas were where we just turn it around this little area here so within this little area here because i had an air, 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 air <laughs> a hair in there and i had to heat my resin up when it was all at the first stage of sculpting i got the hair out but then it continued to drip and it gave an effect down here which i didn't like but i decided to hang some crystals on it inside and outside with UV resin. I've not gone the all the way around it because you have to be cost effective. And where I've added it, I feel like it just added value to where it were. So if you've got the money and a choice and time, you could go and do it all in there. But I felt that where these were lapping and the, the held up, I quite like where you get to see the, the iridescent film or the prism film coming off the paper, which I'll show you very shortly. And then there was another stage, which was just here where because when I heated it up, the masking tape a tiny little bit on the inside i didn't see was there so when the resin dried it dried in it so i removed the most of it i can could but i pointed it out to you so i decided to bring the crystals around here and go up here and then there's one last section where i had to patch it up and we're going to see if we can see it because there was a hole in my resin dear people dear people and it's this area here and the reason i can tell it is because i worked on it and where the still little bits of airs i've got to get out of here i'll go around with my little lighter and burn them off on my little scissors oh, oh there we go got it is when the resin cures uh, over the crystals at the time when you put it down it sort of embeds itself into the resin so it looks like it's glass edge and when i when i add them they're more prominent the more clear and there's more shape to them and that's quite nice so that's the advantage of adding them with uv resin but this area here is a little bit of the overhang again where it had lipped up a little bit and i just didn't like that and then this area here which you can't see now because i've done a good job there's a little hole now i've done some crystals on the inside and if i rub my finger down there i cannot really feel any holes now or under here uh, so it's protected that area i mean luckily this one's for me and if i'd not told you these little secrets you wouldn't know so that is in there anyway so hopefully you found that useful seeing how you can patch up some things how you can add a bit of heat to it post curing to bend um you won't be able to do too much otherwise it could snap or strain but i knew that my glass internal and external were obviously larger and smaller so i knew that there was going to be some room 
room to wiggle and then it was just about sculpting them until I got them to a place where I was happy. So I'm going to take you in and I'm going to show you the the prism effect of that paper. You might not be able to say, oh, you just got to see it down there. It's beautiful. So it does add a value to it. And I think these fire colours, uh, there were the resin eight uh, pigments, really do complement it. It's very transparent and it just adds to that glass effect. And I do love some of these clear areas. <laughs> but oh, it's spinning, it's spinning. But even there, different prism effects depend on where you are. Anyway, I'm Sharon. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you. I hope that you enjoyed the live. And if you would like to see more sculptures done live, so you've got a chance to interact with me or ask questions, make me aware of that. If you love these colours, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I'd love to know your thoughts on this prism paper. And also, did I help you by showing you how to fix any potential holes? Or if you're time poor when it comes to sculpting? And also, if you get your paper stuck in there, what could you do to rescue it? Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And also pip pop, pip over, pop over to my Facebook group if you want to showcase your art. You help inspire us and hopefully we will inspire you. It's a circle of love with the creative people on YouTube. And yeah, should you wish to purchase any of my treasures, pop over to Etsy. There might be something there that you wish to purchase. Now, what I am going to do is take you in for a close up, get you all hypnosis and hypnosis, get me hypnotized. That's the word I'm looking for. And then I'm going to show you how you can add some of these uh, little, I want to say, uh, fairy lights to your design. Now, I'm not going to embed mine within the resin. I'm just going to slip them in here and I'm going to show you the effect that you can have. Uh, other than that, I'll see you on the next video and I hope to make you very sleepy looking at these next stages.